hi guys and girls, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. Thought we should probably do a competition update. And I'm just going to voice over that and we'll have a look at some of the entries while we're putting this dividing head back together. There'll be a bit more about this in Wednesday night stream and I'll probably make a special video with some of the, the, the details of the build too if we think that that's going to be something that anyone would watch. But there's been 12 entries to the competition and that's what this is really all about. Uh, first one was from Rustinox. We're going to go through the lot of them. Rustinox has got a great little channel. He's only got 70 subscribers though, so go and give him some love. Uh, really good videos about a variety of things, machining, restoration, some cool fabrication. But his competition video was about making an oil can and or an oil oil container and a brush holder for the lathe really nice thing made out of not very much and well worth a look so so go and check that one out that was entry number one entry number two was from tommy gun machining as hope you've all gone and had a look at that video excellent video really top-notch editing top-notch tool making uh, really not much to fault it Tommy Gunn's a great channel he's based in Tasmania he Tom Wansey was here recently and we caught up for coffee which was really nice great guy and really really pleased to to get an entry from him especially a, a really good one Entry number three was from Poppy's Workshop. It's a new channel. Not a lot of views and not a lot of subscribers yet, but fairly interesting vlog style channel with an interesting take on the world and pretty good fun. I watch a few of his videos. I don't watch all of them, but I, I certainly, uh, there's always something to choose from every day. So good fun channel. And really cool tool, we made a, a riser for a Sherline lathe tool post. Um, great to get entry from little channels just starting in. And people ask why I I do this tool making competition and why I put so much into it and why I look for prizes, things like that. And the main reason is that I get to meet so many cool people and I get to make friends and I really enjoy being part of or being included in other people's projects. It's, it's good to see what people are actually making. Entry number four is from Rolling Metal. Um, if you're Googling that or searching for that, it's only got one L. He's entered last year and it's pretty impressive to see how far he's come. His channel's grown quite a lot. And it's a it's a really a very good video of making a part for a, a video tripod. We've all seen them. You buy a tripod in a thrift store or flea market and it has got the plate off the top. Well, Rolling Metal's gone in and he's made the parts and done it with very basic equipment. And it's a good video. So... Go and check that one out. Entry number five is from JB from Oz. No stranger here. In fact, he made these dividing plates here uh, that I'm about to fit on the, on the dividing head. Big thanks, JB, and thanks for your entry. It's a really good video. I'm making a 3D printer. Um, black science, really. Not something that I profess to know very much about and certainly it's above my pay grade, but very, very cool video on how to make a 3D printer and what to watch out for and some really good ideas about how to sort mine out. So thanks, JB. Good video. Go and check out his channel. Um, some of his previous entries have been very, very good. And like everyone who's entered and everyone who watches my channel, it's a pleasure to call you my friends and really appreciate the effort that you've put into 
making this happen again this year. Entry number six is from Cam at Battler. Uh, he made some camp, camp twist clamps, that style of clamp. Um, they're over-engineered and they're a pretty good project and he's done a really nice job of them. Uh, go and check them out. Go and have a look. It's, it's an excellent video and he's certainly done a nice job of, of his the tools that he's made. And in total... Cam at Battler style, they're completely over engineered and their the quality is second to none. Number seven was from John Creasy and making a tiny little metric button die from a block of tool steel. Really excellent video from John and thanks John for entering. It's Always good to see videos from you and you're always got a slice of humour and there's always some pretty cool things to see and some fun Easter eggs to find too. So go and check out John's videos. Have a look at all of them. Have a look at his chess set. Um, he's notoriously famous for that. But um, if you're not subscribed, you should be. And it's the same with any of these channels. Go and have a look. Entry number eight is from Chirpy's Tinkerings. Um, anyone who watches the live stream uh, or anyone who watches this channel should know who Chirpy is. Uh, does some foundry work and some machining and some blacksmith work. His video, his entry is a blacksmithing challenge that he set himself. I'm not going to give you too many more clues than that you should go and watch the video but it's about making a pretty useful traditional antique style tool from basically a railroad spike so go and have a look at that as a forging video but chirpy stuff's always worth a look Number nine, entry number nine is from Max Grant, the Swan Valley Machine Shop in Western Australia. Uh, his Project X has been an online running series for quite some time. The videos are going into quite some detail and they're well worth a look. He's a, a great operator and he makes some pretty cool tools. His attention to detail is strong and what he's come up with is probably, from what I've seen, a fairly original idea. But... He's called it Project X, and there's a big reveal at the end. Go and check out his competition video. It's well worth a look. It's, it's a good video. I really enjoyed that. Number 10 is from Peter at PGS. Peter's made himself a gingery milling machine and done a nice job of it, and it's been interesting to watch it all the way through, and he's made some, some really good videos about it. Uh, this year he's done a video and he's condensed it right down and kept to all the rules and it's a good video about making an arbor for a horizontal milling machine and adding to that he's done it on the milling machine that he's made which the arbor's for so that's a absolutely awesome job Peter you should be really proud of that and we should be over there hell supporting you and watching your videos and egging you on to make the next project if you're wondering I have a a knuckle that got a graze today while I was cleaning up and I'm not really impressed about it but I haven't yet at the time this video was made put a band-aid on it so apologies for the the raw skin on my hand but we've sorted it out now and it did get infected I hope. Entry 11 is from Tinker, long time supporter and viewer of my channel and quite a few other channels too I'm sure. He's made some spaces up uh, on the Sherline lathe, now a Sherline milling machine, another Another uh, Sherline video. It's made parallels for, for the middle machine. 
there's a problem with with small milling machines is finding it, parallels that are suitable and sign bars things like that. It's quite a market out there if anyone's listening to make three inch sign bars and fairly small profile stuff and and parallels and things like that for small machines. So if anyone's listening, but Tinker's got a, a really good video, good fun. He's only very new to YouTube and he has some fishing videos and other stuff as well. So well worth going and having a look at his videos too. I've got a bit more backlash in this, this gear shaft than I'd really like. So we're going to put that off and fix it. Um, just while we're shooting this video, the little screw needs a slightly different end on it. It's got a little bit much too, a little bit too much radius and the, the, the notch it runs in isn't really retaining the shaft in the right place. Now we've got new plates, which of course are a little bit thinner than I originally expected. So we've had to modify a few things like that and we see some backlash there. Entry number 12 is from Craig Marshall, also another Australian creator, small channel. Go and give him some love. Shouldn't have to say that, guys. It just go and click the subscribe. These channels either turn into really good channels or they don't. Um, you've got nothing to lose either way, really. So go and check these guys out and check out Craig. He's made a couple of little screws for a a vice jaw, a nice job with cross heads, slots for screwdrivers and single point threaded. Good fun video. It's good to see what people are up to. And thanks for your entry, Greg. So you can see that little screw there. Um, goes in that hole and also locates in the, the slot on the, on the shaft. It's not quite right. It's got a little bit of a round in and it's not quite deep enough. If we sit that right in properly, there's very little movement and it was designed that way. But I might just need to modify it a little bit. I think I'm going to take it across the lathe and face the end of it off and machine a little bit, little bit deeper and just see if we can get it so that it sits in there with no backlash. Number 12, which is the last one, I only came in last night, is from Chris Anderson. Chris has made some, some casting flasks or some boxes for, for ramming sand into, and they're sort of a travel size. They take apart and they fold and they open so that you don't have to bang them to get the sand out of them. And it's a woodwork project, really, but lots of metal fittings, and he's done a really nice job of it. Uh, Chris does most of his metal work, well, most of his woodwork the old old fashioned way, and it's really good to to watch him in action making dovetails. So if you're interested in woodworking or foundry and you want a, a great idea, go and check them out. That's the the last entry is number thirteen. Um, that's that's our last entry, I think this week hopefully there's some more this week um i'm expecting you to to all send in awesome entries and the best ones still to come so i just wanted to update this i also wanted to say about chris's chris's flask if you go into the barzi summer bash and you're part of the sand glass sand casting class that's quite a mouthful uh chris is going to be using those flasks at the at the at the Barzi Summer Bash. So you'll see those there. But go and check him out. Check everyone out. I can't say that enough. Um, and I can't say thanks enough for, for people who, who've, who've entered. Reminder about the prizes is uh, a GoPro and a optical comparator loop and a set of precision ground flat stones, which are pretty special. I've got some thank you gifts for, for the creators that have that have stepped up with some prizes, and I'm excited to share them with you, but it won't be until after the bash. And I wanted to say thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing to my channel. 
And thanks for coming across and taking some interest in in my tool making project and taking some interest in my competition because it's much appreciated. And all these little creators, um, we all struggle. Um, we're not none of us are huge big creators, and we do struggle. So it's it's a really good a good thing to support us and to you're doing a great thing for the this machining community and it encourages us all to, to put out more content. So I think I fixed the backlash in this now. I, everything seems to work properly. The new discs are polycarbonate with a mirror back, so they are pretty shiny. But just putting that back together now, I think we've sorted it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Um, be kind to each other and send me your entry. Have a look at the rules and more soon, guys and girls.